Hi guys, welcome back to the Pan Family Lamb. This week we thought we'd tell you about five things that we love about Australia because as everybody already knows, we love where we live in Australia. Big time. Yeah. So anyway, we thought we'd tell you about them. Obviously, as you can see, we've brought you to somewhere really awful today with terrible views. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit um, cloudy today. There's one there. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's two clouds today. <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> yeah, one over there. Come on, just let me know. to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out Have this feeling, feeling Haven't felt for so long Took a hold on me and won't let go I've been sleeping Number one is, as we're here already, the bright vivid colours so where we don't really get many cloudy days everything's always so bright and colourful so for example if we do get clouds on the odd occasion the seas are completely different colour it's not this bright blue that you can see behind me but because we don't get that often pretty much every day we're surrounded by these beautiful blues and greens everything's just so much more saturated I guess yeah and um, even when we get a uh sunsets they're such a beautiful color you get pinks oranges yeah. purples and it's very vibrant it looks like someone's photoshopped the sky at night time yeah it looks like an artist's um canvas yes yes <laughs> number two is the word g'day i love it every single time i hear it <laughs> It brings me so much joy. You couldn't be anywhere else in the world and hear the word g'day for it to be completely normal. I think it's such a charming word. Oh, it's just a lovely word saying hi. Yeah. Really. Anyway, so we actually love the word g'day and there's plenty of people that still use it, including myself now. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously now that I'm a real Aussie. <laughs> so I always remember to say g'day as soon as you see the band family. Yes. <laughs> so number three is night skies. The night skies here are amazing. It's something like watching um, the Discovery Channel when they do their night things. Yeah. Um, but just in your back garden is where we don't have light pollution. It just makes the sky so beautiful. It, even the moon seems brighter at night here. I think it's what it is, it's pitch black with thousands and thousands of stars. It's, it's the most magical thing and we're so fortunate that we get that nearly every single night where it's so beautiful. You, I mean, you could go on holiday and you pay thousands for something like that. When I take the dog out at night time, um, I find myself standing there for a good 10, 15 minutes just staring at the stars um, and just hunting for a satellite. That might sound weird, but <laughs> I've been told you can see it at night time on a good night, um, and I keep looking for it. So if anyone can let me know how you find it or what it looks like, put it in the comments, just so it helps me out. Instead of standing there for the next 20 odd years looking for a satellite that's probably not even there. So give us a hand on that one. Number four is the sound of the birds first thing in the morning. And you can even hear them now. Um, so when I get woken up in the morning, it's by the kookaburras, yep. the lorikeets, the cockatoos, cockatoos a massive array of different types of birds. And the and amazing it, thing is, they all visit our gardens. Yeah, because we've got a lot of natural um, native. plants. Native. Sorry. Because we've got a lot of native plants in our front garden to attract more of the birds and sort of help them feed and stuff like that, um, they do come to ours quite a lot. And I just think it's lovely. It's waking up into like a tropical paradise, really. Yeah. But when you see on these programs of when they, like the amazing holidays and stuff like that, and you hear all the, the wildlife and stuff like that, that's what we get every single morning. I think, I mean, what it is, is we live in a holiday destination and 
and that's I mean that in itself tells you we live something really incredible every single day and yeah it's just stunning and the things we get to see on a daily basis are just incredible number five five live is I cannot get over the bush turkeys roaming around the streets so in it, where we're from a turkey is usually on a farm that you definitely don't seem see them walking down the high street whereas here they are everywhere they just run around any street you sometimes see them crossing at pedestrian crossings which is hilarious um five years on from when we first moved i still find it hilarious i still love seeing them they and make me really laugh and when she films them she likes to make them dance as well yeah you i'll have to link that video i i had a little bit of a play where they did a bit of a dance on one of our intros <laughs> see this number five is where we differ because maz loves seeing the bush turkeys on the streets i love it when i see the kangaroos yeah sort of just hopping down the street and you've got to slow down sort of follow them one night i had to get out and sort of usher it back into the bush so no one run it over because it was late at night with no street lights so i didn't want to get hurt yeah so yeah for me just seeing kangaroos hopping around like in the wild it's oh really, really it's cool. really special it, i always see them as well I, mean, I haven't got my drone and want to send it out and see them it's the same as i'll end up seeing a whale out there at some point so i haven't got the drone and i'll miss seeing it same is as it whale season I don't know. I think it might have just passed. Don't know. But I want to yeah. I really want to get some sharks and whales and stuff like that. Because I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. Oh that would be amazing. We Mid we forward. are desperate to get a shot out on the ocean of some dolphins. Yeah, all I'll get is surfers. They're well, always there. We have seen dolphins. I didn't realise because dolphins go around together whereas sharks go around on their own and I saw a load of fins I think I've said this in a previous video but I saw a load of fins surrounding Lily once when she was out in the ocean but I was so scared and it turned out it was they were in a group so it was actually dolphins <laughs> yeah much nicer than her being surrounded by a shark sharks yeah or sharks <laughs> please uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next week we've got a super exciting video coming next week actually we're not going to tell you what it is but we've been asked for this a lot a lot a lot a lot like so, daily being asked yeah so anyway super exciting video coming next week as well so don't forget to tune in next week same time every sunday we're there the bell's on see you next week I no, know. I'll back that one up. Okay, well, I can edit that out. I think it's just checking it's recording. Yeah, you said it would lot. Oh yeah. Yeah, we've got a bit of um a bit of tree and bush out the front, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, we've got a bit of bush out the front. Yeah. Yeah, we've got some really nice native um native bush out the front of our house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what would we, we call it? They're not trees. Shrubs. We've got some really lovely native uh, trees out the front. We've trees got some and really, we've got some really native, we've got some really lovely native trees out the front of our house. So what she was meaning to say was, is outside <laughs> our house we have so much um, wildlife and natural plants and stuff like that. Native. Native plants, not natural. We do have some fake. What plants. was I meaning to say? more than what I just <laughs> get Maz to put a little um, video up here of some of the Laura Keats when we had them outside our house well we get them every day no I'm just meant yeah when we I managed got close. to film yeah yes when I got close to them and they didn't run away from me or fly well they can run if they want <laughs> hot thingy <laughs> it definitely makes you feel like you're um... you're not anywhere else in the world <laughs> no what's his name Makes you feel like you're Paul Hogan when he's walking through New York saying good day to everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very Australian good day. Yes. <laughs>